Alright, what's going on y'all and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing another Roblox 4 game. This one is called Shovelware's Brain Game. This banana already looks sus and I ain't even getting into the game yet. If you guys are new here and you end up enjoying this video, make sure you guys hit that like button as always. And I'm serious this time. If you don't hit that like button, right now, we're going to have a real issue. You know what? I ain't asking nicely. We're about to have an issue if you don't hit that like button. Boy, if you don't I may look a little bit different to y'all, man. You know, your boy just got his hair done, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to stun on nobody. I'm feeling clean. I'm feeling fresh. We do not care. And I better not see no forehead comments. I see one forehead comment, you're done. Ah, snatch your forehead. Oh my gosh, bro. I almost forgot. 200k? All right. <laughs> I see y'all, man. We lit. We turn it up. Road to a million, man. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Let's go. I appreciate y'all so much, man. More than you know. And thank you guys for getting me to 200k. It means the world to me. And I'm so excited to say that I even have this large of a number of subscribers already in my first year and a half doing YouTube. Thank you guys so much. But... Since we have 200k subscribers, I got a question for y'all. How come my Instagram only got 1,600 followers? Damn. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna need y'all to go go follow my Instagram, bro. It's gonna pop on the screen right here. Go follow me. I need you guys. I'm trying to run my Instagram up to 10k, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick three random people that follow me and like my recent Instagram picture, and I'm gonna give you guys a shout out in the next video. Okay. Oh, y'all like the drip? I know y'all see the drip. You'll get it next time. I never even started yet, but all right. Wait, how can I get in here? Wait, how do I join the game? Oh, I'm joining. What's that question? I'm looking okay, I'm in here. To seeing the famous flightless dodo when I next go bird watching. Okay. And what's that? There aren't any more? <laughs> they haven't been for hundreds of years? Oh, what's the word used to describe when the population of a species is completely wiped out? It do I have to type this? With an e. Extinct. I'm so good. I win. Not a chance. Wait, do I not win? Yeah. Okay, there we go. We we in this. I don't really know what's happening, y'all. Welcome. You're going to need to pick a category, okay? Oh, choose a category. Um Zoo pal. Zoo pals it is. Zoo pals. Okay, let's go. No animals are harmed to make into this category. Okay, banana. Let's bring out a special guest to ask the next question. It's Bordy, the smart boy. Hey, Bordy, what's up, bro? Hey, hey, kids! It's your old pal, Bordy. What's up, man? What is the name of this animal? Uh. Oh no, I think that's it's up here. I th I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I might be wrong. I don't know a thousand percent. Come on. Better luck next time. Ah, oh, that wasn't it. I don't think. Oh, I got it. Let's go! I'm crazy! Well, I fulfilled my duties. Hey, yo. The biggest brain. The big forehead, bigger brain. Let's go. Pardon me. I was told there'd be humorous content in the show. And yet, I haven't laughed even once. Oh, man. You want a refund or something? A refund? <laughs> A refund? No, you simple fool. What I want is much larger. I want... A refund would be quite nice, actually. <laughs> well, you laughed, so... Now you can't have one anymore. Ah! Uh, I don't know what's going on, y'all. They just threw me in here. He's so tight. Hi, how are you? In the mood to pick a category, I hope? Because that's what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm in the mood for it. Choose a category. Um, let's go. Uh, talking about states. Uh, what's the word? What's the let's word? go. Word up. Let's talk about words. Okay. Here comes the coolest screen in town. It's Bordy the Smart yeah. Boy. Yo, this is so good for a Roblox game. Hi ho, Bordy the Smart Board here. Take a candor. All right, bro. This image is an illustration of the process of acquiring knowledge and understanding Whoa. through thought, experience, and the senses. What word best describes okay. this? Okay. Uh, contemplation. Contemplation, thousand percent. Yo, I need to go to Jeopardy, bro. This is great. I'm so good. What? Cognition. I've been bored in the smart board. See you next time. Okay. I see where we stand. 
Go ahead, use your device input method to pick a category. It's easy. I guess it's not me picking it this time. It's this guy. Store Studios. Uh, what's the word? I'm gonna go. What's the word again? If I can pick. Oh, he picked. It was him picking. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It's time to close yourself with knowledge. It's the big laundry category. All right, man. Whatever. That sounds like your chance to win a bonus prize. Uh oh, Savage. Let me see some, bro. These chewy vitamins in the shape of cartoon cavemen. Wow. <laughs> Get essential minerals and your daily dose of lead. Uh, uh, I mean iron in lead flavors. You know what? I'm gonna have one right now. Don't mind if I yabba dabba do. <laughs> yeah, bro. That Flintstones knockoff. No, you probably can't. <laughs> Uh, won't that find just uh, just find a daddy hey, prize? So shoelaces, right? What are those little tips on the ends called again? There's just no way. Thimble. I think that's what it is, but I think that might be wrong because I do not know. That's pretty base. Yeah. He said that's pretty base. I got it wrong. I'm so bad. <laughs> Aglet. Wow, how do they know that, bro? Who knows that? That's so stupid. Welcome. You're going to need to pick a category, okay? Yeah, all right, bro. Go ahead, bro. Pick artistic integrity. Artistic integrity. There we go. Let's see just how cultured you are. Primary colors. Colors you can mix together to, any to get other any color. other color. Okay, okay. If you had some spotlights and wanted to be able to mix together every color you could think of, what colors of light would you need? Uh, red, blue, and green, is it? Wait, I think it's red, blue, and yellow. Red, blue, and yellow, I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be real mad. Okay, bro. I'm actually an idiot, y'all. This is bad. Hey. Orange? Yo, where'd he go? Ooh. Hey, banana. What's up? Want to see what I can do with this knife? Sure. Go for it. Wow, it's impressive how you made it look like you were throwing it directly at me, but in reality, it was just any closer and I would have been, in, been a banana kebab. So cool. Okay, bro. Your turn to answer another question. What category will the question be from? Okay, it's my turn now. I've, I've, I've been going pretty bad. I'm trying to win. Nonsense. Non sequiturs? I don't know what that is. Ah, artistic integrity. Artistic integrity. I don't know. Wow, I thought we abandoned this years ago. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, let's get into it. Here on behalf of I have no idea about any of this, but we're just hopping into it. Let's go. Smartboard. Another one? Oh, okay. Um, here it is. Okay, here we go. Take a look at these colors. You have the primary colors of pigment, but then they overlap and make other colors. Okay. What's the name for these colors created by the primary colors? Mixing? I have no idea. Secondary colors? I don't know, bro. Please give me at least. Yes, yes, yes. We needed that. They might be secondary colors, but they're primary in my heart. Let's go. I think we're in the lead right now. I'll be in my dressing room if you want an autograph after the show. Bye. Yo, appreciate you, Bordy. Much love, bro. You're up to bat again. What category will it be? Let's go, Savage. Pick something good, man. No math zone. Please, no math zone. Please don't pick math zone. I'm begging you. Anything but math. Math zone. Oh, my gosh. Why did you pick math zone? I don't know anything about math. I'm a high school dropout. Welcome to the math zone. Low energy, devoid action math okay, category. Okay, get this. If you had 453 watermelons and somebody gave you an extra 1,268, how many watermelons total would you have? 453 plus 1, 2. 453 plus 1,268. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Siri. <laughs> Yo. <Yeah. laughs> what would I do without you, Siri? Thank you. It's time to pick a category. Let's hear it. Hey, we're in the lead. Let's go. It's lit, fam. Pick his lit, fam. I want to see what that's about, please. Let's go. It's lit, fam. It's lit, fam. Like literature, but shortened. Hey, I like literature. I'm a fan. 
I just love that jingle. It means it's time for the bonus prize. Uh oh. Do you have a fuzzy little pet you Ooh. love to pamper, or maybe you're just someone with a lot of hair? I have hair. a lot of hair. Either way, I bought up every last bottle of this particular brand of dog shampoo in the immediate area. Dog shampoo. Oh, okay. Astronomically increasing the value of this prize artificially. Wow. <laughs> Pour it into what a play. Sun, or maybe like into a lake or a pond of some kind, because there is way too much of it for you to take. A home lake with or a you. pond. Forget about pollution, man. Wow, but you can't add that to can't wait to add that to your collection. And all you have to do is answer this question correctly. Let's see what it could possibly be. Here comes the coolest screen. I thought Bordy was done for the day. Bordy, the smart board. You're back? I thought you were done. You just can't get enough of me, huh? Here's your question. Okay. <laughs> what a ghastly ghoul. This character That's a meme. In a what is this? 1922 silent film. There was an unauthorized adaptation of the famous 1897 novel Dracula. What's the name of this vampire I do not who know. famous in his own right? Uh, it better be Dracula, right? They said Dracula in a thing. If it's Dracula, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be confused. It can't be Dracula. There's no way. You've just posted cringe. Wow, it was not Dracula. Orlock. Okay. Ah, Bye, Bordy. Yo, Bordy's the only one that seems like a sensible guy so far. Uh, that's the end of the round. Let's see the grand prize. I win, I think, right? I have the most points. Cow tools. What? You don't know what? Cow yeah, I don't tools know what cow tools are. Well, it's uh, Well, I took an anthropology course in college and learned that humans used to be defined as the only animal that made and shaped hmm. tools. And that made me think, hey, what if cows made Bro, tools? Bro, what? And I just kind of, I tried making what I thought cows would make. And um, one of them is a hand saw or, or, or something, even though... Why would cows need tools? Cloven hooves. I, I don't know. Look, I just thought it would be interesting, okay? Yeah. Shut uh, up. Okay, I, I'm sorry. And the lucky winner of the fantastic prize is... Hey! Yeah! Champion! Yeah, it's me. That's a wrap you know what I'm saying? Tune in next time for what can I say? It's all in a day's work, man. Nice crowd, man. Nice crowd. Okay. Yo, thank you. This episode is sponsored by Smart Technologies. For real. Thanks, fellas. Yo, appreciate you, bro. Okay. Yo, that went pretty good, y'all. Starting in 99 seconds. Okay. We're ready for the next round, bro. We're we're winning again, bro. We're we're our brains are just humongous. Look at this little banana. It's kind of cute, bro. Uh, is there a shop or something? We can go over here. Customize your podium. Mmm. I'm not buying Robux, bro. It, it, it's just not happening. Appreciate the offer. Oh, backstage. How do I get back here? Is Bordy back here? Five minutes later. From Shovelware Studios Hollywood, it's your new Yeah, let's show. go. Welcome to Shovelware's Brain Let's Game. get into it, man. Here's your host, the Dancing Banana. Hey, what's good, Dancing Banana? He did the peanut butter and jelly time dance earlier. It's peanut butter jelly time. Hey, what's good, bro? Thank you. I'm contractually obliged to be obligated to be here. Welcome to the game. Hey, do I know you from somewhere? Regardless, it's your turn to pick a category. Let's go high. Dang, look how cool their what's it called look to me. Like their podiums look way better. Science rules. Science rules, bro. What are you, Albert Einstein? Science rules category uh, rules, in my opinion, at least. Okay, let's go. Let's bring out a special guest to ask the next question. Let's go, Bordy. It's Bordy, the smart let's board. Get it. Well, here I am. Welcome. Look at this diagram of a Whoop, cell. it's over for me. What is the part in the very Nucleus. center called? I got it. I'm him. Bro, seventh grade science class, do not fail me now, bro. That's just plain wrong. You got it wrong? Yeah, of course. Him Jones. The biggest brain. I've been boarding the smart board. See you next time. Thank you, Bordy. Happy to have you here. What category do you want? Yo, let's go. Pick a good one. What's a non sequitur, bro? I don't know what that means. Nonsense, non sequitur. Okay, guess we're gonna find out. Buckle up, it's about to get weird. That sound means it's time for the bonus prize. Nephew, if you would. 
Uh oh. Very expensive grill from Dukeman. Mm. Pull up a chair and host the cookout of the century. Okay. You'll be serving up a whole lot of smiles by utilizing the latest in charcoal technology. Okay. And maybe the neighbors will finally stop bragging about how great their life is with their fancy <laughs> SUV and their two dogs and their running hot water. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Doug. Okay, I can't move my car out of the way to let a street sweeper down our block. The this is this is, is a crazy dead. game. I make game show announcer money, which isn't a lot, so it's going to stay that way. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice spill you just had. Now it's time uh, for what I'm sure will be an equally swell question. Which is better, melee or ultimate? Uh, which is better, melee or ultimate? Oh, um, I don't know, bro. It's all right. I don't even. I don't know what that question even was, bro. Fortnite is better than both of them. You just won the bonus prize. Congrats. Were they asking me about, what's it called, bro? Like, brawler games? Hey, thanks for joining us. Pick a category. All right, it's my turn. It's my turn. Okay, here we go. Talking about states, big laundry, probably geography. Um, Let's go with talking about states. Talking about states. Mm -hmm. I'm here to state that we're talking about states. Nice. When you describe someone's state of mind, what are you referring to? Um... Their mood and emotional state. That gotta be it, right? Because that's what I'm referring to when I say a state of mind. Your mood and re emotional state. If it's wrong, that's there's just right. no way. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, I, I would have been really upset if that was wrong. Oh, they both got it wrong. I'm in a game show state of mind. Welcome. You're gonna need to pick a category, okay? Let's go, uh, Juice. Let's get it, man. Monumental landmarks would be fun. It would definitely science or rules. science rules. Okay, you pick science rules. Let's lay down some laws. Okay, let's go. Okay, so there are two nondescript objects. One object exerts a non-specific force on the other object, and the second object exerts an equal and opposite, similarly non-specific force. Oh, I think back I know this. To the first object, Sir Isaac Newton wrote this down as one of his laws of motion. Which of his laws describes this? Oh my gosh. It's third or fourth. I don't know. Any me my mo. Any me my mo. Go. Fourth. Ah, uh, I think I got it wrong. Yo. What was that? I got it wrong. It's the third law. I'm an idiot, bro. What? Yo. What did he hit me with a car battery for? Hey, what's up with you, bro? Integrity. I'm not rocking with that. We're we talking about arts and maybe if you're lucky, integrity. Primary colors. Colors you can mix together to get any other All right, we color. already did this one. If you had some paints and wanted to be able to mix together nearly any color you could RGB. think of, what colors of paint would you need? Red, blue, green. We got this one wrong last time, so we got it this time. Yo, this dude is, he's acting a little bit sus, bro. I don't know if I'm rocking with it. You've just posted cringe. Wow. I was wrong. I think I misread the question, bro. All right, choose a category. What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word, gang? Uh, what's the word? Are we talking about words and their definitions? What is the most common word used in the English language? Okay. Oh, hey, I just used it in that sentence. What? It's the, oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's the. It's the. I'm an idiot, bro. It's the. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna lose. Mr. Banana. Broccoli. Are the allegations against you true? Why, yes. I have created plenty of fun and entertaining games for children of all ages. Okay. Allegations? Pick a category, any category. Dang, bro, what is he talking about allegations? Shovelware Studios. Because hmm. when you hear shovelware, you think quiz questions. I mean, yeah, there he's right. Are many objects and items to find and absorb in shovelware's super slime simulator. I don't know what that is. Which of the following is not found somewhere in the yard area? I have absolutely no clue. Any, mini, money, mo, catch a tiger by so if it holds. Glizzy! So close. I was wrong. Wow.
It ain't looking too good, y'all. Fork. We're at the end of the round, which means it's time to announce the grand prize. I lost. Wow. A box. Of Harmonicas. Twenty. Harmonicas. <laughs> All right then, bro. You got it. As many. As two boxes. You can stop now. Of ten harmonicas. <sighs> My man. And you can stop. Wonderful. Take a breath. Dang. And the lucky winner of that fantastic prize is... It's not me. It's the guy next to me. You're this episode's grand This champion. Chad beat me. Wow. Unbelievable. Yo, why does this dude got a chest on his head? What's wrong with you? Yo, why do they keep slipping over here? Oh, it's this thing. Oh! That, that, that's why they keep slipping. Okay, it makes sense now. Five minutes later. Filmed on a soundstage at Shovelware Studios Hollywood and live in front of a studio audience, it's time for Shovelware's Brain Game. Let's go. He's the star of the show and he signs <laughs> my paycheck. It's the Dancing Banana. What's good, Dancing Banana? You're a little bit sussy. You did drop a battery on me last game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. Well, not too kind. You're an adequate amount of kind, but thank you nonetheless. <laughs> All right then, bro. It's just me versus you. It's over for you. I'm so sorry, Scorpion. Go ahead, pick a category. The first one's free. Talking about states. I know you're gonna pick that. Talking about I knew it. States. What can I say? You picked the talking about states category. United States, states of matter, states of decay. Who knows? Which of the 50 U.S. states was the most recent to join the union? Uh, Hawaii. That was literally in my lifetime. Not a chance. What can I say? I'm, I'm all in a day's work. Hey, a fresh face. Welcome to the game. I'm not fresh. I've been here for the last three rounds. It's lit, fam. It's lit, fam. Yeah. It's lit, fam. Like literature, but sure. Want to help me with my extremely surface level book report? Okay. Finish this book title. The Catcher in the Blank. Oh, I know this. The Catcher in the Rye. Oh, that was in sync. Yeah. The Catcher in the Rye. Oh, you got it. Ted refers to a scene in a book about children playing in a field of rye or something like that. I never read it. Oh, who are these two? Uh oh, they look like they play this game all day. It might be over for me, y'all. Hey, banana. You better not throw a knife again. Where's the bathroom? Out the hall, around the stairs, take two lefts, then a right, up three flights, down four flights. Take the tram all the way to the studio, and then it'll be on your right. Okay, thanks. Yeah, you're not remembering all that. He just sat back in his seat. Welcome. You're going to need to pick a category, okay? All right, then. Uh, Go ahead. Pick one. Let's go. Math Why do you pick math zone? Wait, really? What is 10 times 10? That's pretty based. <laughs> That's pretty based is so crazy to me. Hey, we in the lead, y'all. We're killing it right now. That's math, all right. Hi, how are you? In the mood to pick a category? Hey, let's get it, bunny. Talking about states. Okay, we can talk about states. I'm with it. States, states, states. We're talking about states in this category. You love to see it. Let's see what a hilarious and witty thing the announcer has to say about it, shall we? Go ahead, announcer. This certificate of education. Oh, I need one of those. I'm a high school dropout. Edutainment and 100% legitimate. This certificate is definitive proof that you've encountered educational content in Shovelware's brain. Hey, it's gonna replace where my diploma would be on my wall. Learn anything, just that you were in close proximity to education or some facsimile thereof. Ready to try to win that prize? Let's hear that question. Hey, I need this one, y'all. Let's say you're Dorothy, and you're trying to return home from the land of Oz. In which U.S. state would you end up? Uh, Kansas. I'm already knowing. I'm cultured, y'all. I'm cultured. We're not in Kansas anymore. Why are you dancing? What are you doing? 
Not a chance. Yo, I need it tonight. Let's go. Your turn to answer another question. What category would the question be from? He's going to pick geography. He's going to pick geography. Uh, prediction? Two? One? Ah, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. You chose a big laundry category. Whatever that means. Let's see the question. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Because my pen pal from Japan helps fill in for her mother at the inn they run, she's often wearing a specific type of traditional clothing. Kimono. It's also the national dress of the Kimono. country. Kimono. What is it? Kimono. I'm him. Him Jones. Him Duncan. Himmy Turner. Himothy. I watch too much anime, bro. I know all about the kimonos. I know. <laughs> Let's go. We picking a category now. It's our turn. Uh, probably geography. Let's go with that. Probably geography. Let's go. You picked probably geography. It's geography. Probably. Hmm. Andrew Scott Waugh, credited as being the first person to ever put two feet on top of Mount Everest, hmm. was the first person to precisely calculate its height. Exactly how high did he calculate it to be? I do not know. I think it might be 20, this, this specific number. Let's go with that. I don't know. If we get it right, it's just pure dumb luck. I'm a lucky man. I once found a four-leaf clover in my backyard. Yo, why does he keep dropping a mic like that? Is he going to drop another car battery? 29,000 feet. Yo! Hey, folks. I know you got a thing going on here, but if I could just make an announcement real quick, that'd be just swell. Okay. Oh! We got a dangerous wanted criminal on the loose. Have any of you seen him? Wow, that's crazy. No, I think I remember seeing someone that handsome. Uh, that's you, bro? Hmm. Yeah. Alrighty, then. Sorry to take up your time. Please resume. Did we invite you, or did you just kind of wander onto the set? <laughs> oh, well. Contestants are contestants. Either way. Pick a category. Yo, this dude is on the run. He's out here hitting people with car... Yo, did he just hit a... Yo, did y'all see that dance he just hit? It's lit, it's fam. lit, fam. It's about to get lit up in here. Classic lit, that is. Okay. Blah, blah. It's me, Count Dracula, the famous vampire. I want to suck your blood. Oh. And then pick your brain with trivia. Which actor <laughs> portrayed what is okay, widely then. considered to be the most iconic performance of the iconic character? Who I totally am. Um... What actor portrayed what is considered to be the most iconic version of Dracula? Phil Lamar low-key? No, Leslie Nielsen. I think it's Leslie Nielsen. It was Phil Lamar. Oh, I'm, I'm wrong. I was wrong about both. I, I'm disappointed in myself. Eyes on the prizes. How much are you paying attention when the prizes were handed out? Let's see. How many vitamins and minerals do the caveman vitamins contain? Um, I don't know. Vitamins and mineral? I think it's 12. I think it's 12. I'm pretty sure it's 12. Because I thought he said 12 earlier. Maybe I'm wrong, but it, I think it's 12. Oh, that's just plain wrong. Give me a please. Five. Seven? I'm not him. I'm no longer him. Um, monumental landmarks? Come on, that's super easy. Let's go. Thank landmarks. you. Oh, hi. Monumental landmarks. All these normal questions have me pretty bored. You know who isn't bored but is a bored? Mm -hmm. Here with our special guest question, it's Bordy the Smart Boy. Okay, Bordy's back. Kept you waiting, huh? Here's a question from me to okay, you. Okay, okay. Look at this photograph. Depicted is a famous landmark. What is its name? Uh, Giza, Pyramid of Giza. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. Yo, why does he keep dropping the mic like this? Giza? I'm wrong! I gotta get the next one right, y'all. It's super important to me. Yo, Scorpion, come on. Pick something easy. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. Eyes on the prizes? Huh? Huh? Eyes hey, on the I knew it. 
The more prizes you get, the easier this category is. It's eyes on the prizes. How many buttons are included in the set of finish those buttons? I don't know. Ten? I need this one. Scorpion, please don't get it. I don't think he knows. He, if he got it, it was so it was super luck. Oh, sorry. That's not right. Okay, he got it wrong. I got it wrong. She got it right. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm ahead. Category time. What do you pick? Okay, it's my turn. What's the word? Let's go. What's the word? This category is the definition of fun. What is the term used to describe a medical treatment or substance with no actual therapeutic value? Um, placebo, placebo. I know this. Oh my gosh, it's definitely placebo. Let's go. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He might know. Even if he does, I still got it. Oh, yeah. Him Jones. Thank you, crowd. The ethics of placebos are hotly debated. Ah, uh, yeah, understandable. Let's get it. It's almost time to announce this round's grand champion. But first, let's see what they'll win. Let's go, bro. It's all in the line, y'all. Hey, I need one of those. I always wanted to Guy, dance in Glizzy. Out of there. We're trying to do a show here. Wait, what? That's the prize? We're giving away a dancing hot dog? Yeah, I want that. That's a guy. That's just a man. And a live being. No, no, this can't be Yo, right. You there. Banana nephew character. Pull that rope again. Yo, what's happening? Close the curtain and open it again. There's gotta be a real prize behind there. Okay. Not even the same art style. That's a character. He should be sitting in the audience right now. Do it. Pull the rope again. Okay. Okay, now pull it open again. No, that's the, the same dancing. Yo, the narrator's again. bugging. What are you still doing here? Then and nephew, are you in on this? Is this some kind of prank? <laughs> is this some kind of reference? I'm Bro, what is happening? Something? Do it again. Pull the rope again. Oh my goodness. This never happens with any of our other prizes, right? You just pull it open and it's there. It's like a normal game show prize. Like some of them are funny or a little weird, but they're not a real three-dimensional person. This is just a guy. If it's a hot dog again, hot dog. he's going to be so, just pull the so curtain sick. Again. And there'll definitely be a real prize behind it this time, okay? Okay. What? It's just the same dancing hot dog, but this time it's holding a rock. Yo, what is happening? Is that what I'm seeing here? Okay, this is definitely an extended reference to something that's just going completely over my head. It has to be the entire bit transposed almost one to one, and I am just not getting it. Right? And then a nephew? Uh, I'm, I'm confused. Is that your name? The middle nephew? Hey, it's not nice to ignore me. Bro, what is happening? You're standing right in front of the camera, middle nephew. I know you can hear me. You're not being very helpful here. <sighs> Bro, what is happening? This dancing hot dog holding a rock and roll guitar. Bro. Something, something's odd. Isn't that prize just neat, folks? Let's bring out our grand champion. You did it! You got the biggest brain of all! I'm already known. I'm already known. Exciting episode of Shovelware's Brain Game. Signing off from Shovelware Studio. Hey, Studios. what can I say? It's all in a day's work, man. Him Jones, the biggest brain. Two out of three rounds were Shovelware's mine. Brain Game is brought to you by the Admiral Electronic Catalog. People still buy things from product catalogs. Right? No, they don't. <laughs> they do not. This game was definitely a ride. If you made it all the way to the end, comment peanut butter jelly time in the comments. And I appreciate you for making it this far. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to join the gear gang today. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys know any secrets, also make sure you leave them in the comments as well. I, I want to play this game again, but I'm going to need your guys' help because I don't know anything about this game. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I appreciate all the support and peace out.